the Worcester Novices Chase is next. It's a three mile grade two. Uh, at the top we've got Elvis or Martin Leon Dacula. Darren Thompson, Her World, David Hooney, Mind Minstrel, Leon Van Rensburg, Premier Lover, or David Robertson, Talk Mayor, Graham Clutterbuck, and the last train for Joshua Sutherland. So. Here we will sweep off the track, and away we go. And headed towards the first of the fences in this Worcester Novices Chase, which is not at Worcester, it's at Newbury. Make of that what you will, and Dacula was down at the first. So, a bit of a turn up there. Darren Thompson, who took the first two races today, not going to win this one. And Elvis has suddenly now burst through to take it up. So, Elvis is quick off the mark and is now three or four clear. Well, the last train in second, Primavera Lover is third, and her world four. Talk Mayor Five and Mind Minister is the back market. So, the nose banded Elvis is. Four or five lengths clear on a low grade race last week. I had a step up in class this week and nothing else for him to go into, so interesting to see how he gets on. Leads by five into the third. Over it nicely from Primavera Lover in second. And the last train, Her World Talk Mare and Mind Minstrel, they're the only six left. Took a dive at the first and was out. The horse running loose, as you can see. That's if it doesn't cause any problems later on. And Elvis skips over the fourth. And Primavera Lover in second as they get over this ditch. And they're all jumping nicely at the moment. If we get these are novices. This will give us some sort of an idea as well whether we're on the right track for the new for the uh, Hennessy Gold Cup later because we don't want to be taking the water jump for the last fence. And it's Elvis who is in the lead. Pops over this next one in front. Oh, Primavera Lover in second. And then the last train is third. Talk Mare after that one four. Then Mind Minster on her world. He's just a little bit of drift of the rest of them. About three lengths of drift. There is the water jump which is the last. Now looking at what I can see, I can't see a cutaway. I don't know if they're going to go anywhere on this. That's supposed to be a cutaway on this track where they bypass that water jump and go to the winning post. Now it looks to me as though they're not going to do that. If the same race runner is running the Hennessy Gold Cup as he's running this, we're going to be running the Hennessy Gold Cup on the wrong course. This is being run on the wrong course, I would guess. I'm 90% certain of that. I'll see at the end. And it's Elvis who's in the lead. From Primavera Lover second. Taught Mayor back in third. And the last train of Mind Minstrel. And finally her world at the back. And Elvis has opened up by a good six, seven lengths now. He's uh, not hanging a bed. Heading down towards the next, obviously all shook up for something. As they head down towards the next. Over that ditch. Primavera Lover in second. And the last train is third. And Talk Mare fourth. And Mind Minstrel and finally Her World at the back. And Elvis really stood off that one but got over it nicely. to be joined I think by the last train but a really good jump again by the leader so we take a length out of the field the last train is second my minstrels moved through into third then Primavera Lover and Talk Mare that time it was the last train that jumped in best and is now alongside Elvis and he's probably now just in front so the last train is just about in the lead from Elvis in second then Mind Minstrel is third, a gap of a couple of lengths then to Primavera and Talk Mare together, and a gap of four or five to her world who looks as though she might be out of it. But it's the last train who's gone on to a two length lead now. Elvis just been niggled along as Mind Minstrel comes up on his outside to challenge him for second. Also going well is Primavera Lover. These four are clear, but Elvis again jumped that really well. And 
put himself back into contention, but it's the last train who continues to lead. The last train is two lengths clear of Elvis, who's a length clear of my Minister and Primavera Lover. We can forget the other two, I think, but it's the last train of the lead. The last train, then, by two lengths from Elvis in second, and they come down towards this next one. This is the 15th. There'll be four fences in the straight, but I think one of them will be the water jump, but it shouldn't be. They're all over that one, OK? And it's the last train who's kicked on for home. Over the final ditch he goes. Over it in second was my Minister, and Elvis is still trying to run on again in third. Primavera Lover is in fourth. Elvis is now starting to tire as they come down towards the third last, which is probably the second last in effect as they get over that one. Primavera Lover made a mistake, but they're well struck out. Now the last train comes down to what is probably going to be the last regulation fence. Pops over it nicely, trying to close his mind. Minstrel, but he's not going to get close enough to him. I don't think there's two furlongs to go. Should be another plane fence, but it's not. It's going to be the water jump, and they caught to it, and he's not going to fall at the water jump. Nothing ever does, and the last train is going to take this one quite comfortably from Mind Minstrel in second and Primavera Lover back in third. Her oh, world has run on nicely into fourth. Elvis has just dropped right away. Maybe he needs to drop down in trip, but it's the last train who's walked this one, right course or not, from Mind Minstrel second, Primavera Lover third, Her world fourth, and Elvis just made the one to fifth from Talk Mare. So, well strung out in that then. And pretty easy win. I don't think it would have made much difference if we'd have been on a on the proper course anyway. So the last train wins it for Joshua Sutherland. Mind Mitchell second for Leon Van Rensburg. Primavera Lover Darren, uh, David Robertson was third. Her world David Hooney run to be fourth. And Talk Mayor did get up to still fifth for Graham Clutterbuck.